Is it? I can't believe I wrote all night. What a wave of inspiration. Uh oh. Cooper must have seen what happened to his tool shed. Marlo looks like he could use some backup. And what, Cooper? You would have rushed here in your fire truck? Gallant, but unnecessary. I could have bloody well helped, Olive. Oh, you're being so stubborn. And you are being a self-righteous twit. You were content to leave the manor before? I urge you to do so again. Oh, come on, Olive. Neither of them are budging. I have to do something. Olive? Cooper? How about we all take a few breaths? Are you actually this crazy, Olive? Just leave. Oh my, I am but a crazy old hermit. Woe is me. Bravo, Olive. You may be old, but you're not very mature. Cooper, Olive, stop. You guys are friends. Get over yourselves. Ava, this was the last straw. When I heard about the fire, I almost lost it. Something horrible could have happened. To your shed? We tried to save it. No, Ava. To Olive, or to you and Marlo. Oh, well, we managed fine. Right, Olive? Certainly, ma'am. Might I say that we were immensely proficient? Even the hound. But Cooper, wait. How did you know about the fire? People were talking about it in town. Word spreads fast in these parts. Oh, that's odd. Quite. What? What's odd? You guys didn't tell anyone about the fire, did you? Then who did? That's it, Ava, please, just go home. Olive's dragging you into this dangerous mess. Cooper, you sound like Serena. Please, don't worry. I want to be here. It isn't safe. Blackwood isn't worth it for either of you. This is where I disagree with you, Cooper. If you will excuse me. Olive, wait. Let's just work this out. How can I persuade him to stick around? I should ask if he'll inspect the fire damage. I have a cranky friend who needs cheering up, Marlo. Help him out. You gonna leave him hanging? <sighs> Good boy. And you too, Marlo. Oh, ha ha. So, can we have a rational conversation now? I suppose. That's more like it. So, since you're the expert... Correct. Go on. Can I get your opinion on the damage here? My opinion is that it's bad enough to pack up and get out of here. Second opinion, please. There's a perfect writer's retreat north of here, a vineyard B&B. &B. Third opinion. Hold on. 
How did you know I'm a writer? Pardon? Oh, I mean, you told me when we met. No, I didn't. <laughs> Maybe you forgot? Oh my gosh, you looked me up online, didn't you? Um, all right, fine. I may have searched your name accidentally. Accidentally? What else did you find out? Nothing, just, you know, something about you being a famous author. Promise me that's the last time you go stalking me online. I mean it. I said I was sorry. How about you make it up to me by helping me fix up this burnt fence? Bloody hell, the fire sure did a number on this space. Nothing that a little elbow grease can't fix. All right, well, let's get this over and done with. new fence looks really pretty. Great job. You're a natural. What's next? Uh, hold on. I said I'd help you out with the fence. Yeah, that's right. You did. Why do I feel like I've been hoodwinked? I can't say I know the meaning of the word. Mm. So I guess this archway needs to be fixed next. Well, the entrance should match the quality of the fence, right? You sure know how to get my attention. What are you thinking? Hmm, let's see. And voila! I'm liking where you're headed with this space, mate. <laughs> Thanks, mate. Phew. I thought I was in better shape than I seemed to be. Like back when you were coaching the soccer team? I mean, football team. How do you know about that? A little bird told me. Oh, I miss those guys. It's off-season at the moment. I can't wait to get back into training. Well, it looks like you have a new teammate to coach. Oh, you want to play? I guess not. Don't worry, he'll be back. So, what are you thinking next? You've got me hooked. Can't have an entrance without a pathway. And you can't have a pathway that doesn't lead to a tree. Odd logic, but sure. It's a bit of work, but we could fix up the path or we could plant a tree first. Okay, what kind of tree works with the space? Let me make a quick call. I know an amazing gardener just down the road. Holy smokes, Cooper. That phone is massive. Shh, no teasing. Wow, okay, I have to give it to him. That looks stunning. Couldn't have said it better myself. You know, it's pretty relaxing out here. Yeah, I've always enjoyed just sitting under a tree by myself. It's better with some company though, right? Mm, that depends on the company. Oh, really? And how do I measure up to your ridiculously high standards? Yeah, you're up there. I hope I'm near the top. <laughs> yeah, I think that's fair to say. Nice save. Very smooth. What a beautiful space. I could get used to this. We shouldn't get too comfortable, though. Oh? Yeah, we still have some work to do.
do you think, Coop? I'm partial to pavers, personally. Hmm. There we go. Nice. You've got the hang of this, don't you? I had a good teacher. You should meet him. Maybe later. I'm sure he's got more important things to do. Come on, let's finish laying the path. It looks amazing. You knew exactly what our path needed, didn't you? Are you sure it's ours? I did all the work. Well, yeah, but... If you want it to be our path, you have to step up your game. Well, can I at least walk on it? I don't know. Can you? I'm rusty, but I'll give it a go. Well done, mate. Well, there's only one thing left on the docket. Your old shed. Oh man, I don't even want to know how bad the damage is. Okay, careful around the smoldering embers. Don't step on any upturned nails. I can't watch. You know, it's actually pretty okay from the inside. You can be honest. I'm serious. Look, it's your toolbox. Wow. <laughs> it's almost completely unscathed. Olive gave you that, right? Yeah, a long time ago. It doesn't have to be a distant memory. You can still mend things with her, you know. I don't think that's going to happen, Ava. Oh, buddy, you came back. Told you he would. There's a good boy. Come on, Coop. Let's fix this busted shut up. So what kind of shed are you thinking? Well, while we're here, let's spruce it up a bit, right? There, what do you think? Yeah, that's more like it. You want to call your friend on your massive phone to get some veggies? Already on it. I'm impressed. So proactive. Sorted. Well, I think I need a break. Would you like to have lunch with me? Oh, I, uh... Well, I, I mean to say I'm going to go and have lunch and... Great, and, um... And if you were also thinking that maybe lunch, you know? Cooper, I'd love to have lunch with you. Would you say we get out of here for a bit? I have sandwiches in my truck. Woo! After last night, I'd love some time out. Come on then, I know just the place. It's a bit of a local secret. You say something. Oh, um, nothing. Stupid hunger. Olive's got me salivating at noon now. Her food has been incredible. Isn't she the best cook, Cooper? Sure, Ava, but I make a mean sandwich. You haven't even tried it yet. You a bit hangry. What on earth do you mean, dear Ava? This is a smile. <laughs> Don't be so creepy right before taking me out. You'll get into my truck and go somewhere secluded. 
The real question is, do you? Mwahahaha. <laughs> Okay, Marlo, could you look after Olive for me for a little while? I'll bring her back safe and sound, pal. We're only joking around. Good boy. We'll be back soon. What do you think? Goldfinch Glade. I love this place. Local secret, huh? It seems like I am becoming an Ellen Lee Ian. I love this place too. You've been here? Yeah. Olive recommended it the other day when I needed some fresh air. Oh, right. What do you think of this spot by the river? Exactly where I was thinking. It's perfect. So, what was my Uncle Marvin like? Oh, um, I wouldn't even know where to start. He was like a father to me. Yeah, it's a bit rough to talk about. I wish I could have met him. Sounds like he was a pretty neat guy. Sort of like someone else I know, huh? Let's take a selfie. A selfie? Oh my gosh, you don't know what a selfie is? Sure I do. It's a photo of yourself that you take yourself? Nice guess. Okay, say cheese! Cheese! Ava. Earth to Ava. Oh, sorry. Got distracted. That's why I don't need a smartphone. So many distractions. My phone doesn't even take selfies. I don't know how you survive, but I guess you have a point. This thing isn't going to shut up. I'll mute it so we can enjoy our lunch and take in nature. May I present... Club Sandwiches. Right. Yum! Let's dig in. There are heaps more sandwiches, so help yourself. So, do you usually eat four sandwiches for lunch? No, of course not. I see. So you were planning to share? It's good to always be prepared. You never know. Right. What the... What? Is it okay? It's so delicious! Told you I'll make a mean sandwich. I'm glad you like it. Want another? Okay, but just one more. Thanks for the tasty lunch. You sure gave Oliver a run for her money. <laughs> Don't let her hear that. If I know one thing about Olive, it's that she is one competitive chef. Oh yeah? You seem to know each other well. Do you know much about her past? Uh, a friendship formed more by circumstance than choice. Like us? I'd say we're a bit of both. How are you finding Ellen Lee? It's so different than back home. I miss my best friend Serena a lot, but it's been an adventure. It's like a place of fiction. The scenery, mysterious happenings, interesting people. Oh, right. Do you know much about this Alderman character? Victor. Victor Hindley. That guy always had it out for Marvin. Really? Why? No idea. But I've had to tell him a few times to buzz off. He would try meddling in Blackwood business. I'm sure he's got the picture now, though. Hmm. What's his angle? He seems nosy. To know, he's an odd one. But we should head back to Blackwood Manor. Sam's delivery should have arrived. <coughs> nice. 
nice. Sam must have delivered all those crates. So quick. I want to get started. But wait. Where is Marlo? I thought he'd be waiting. He always waits. I missed you too. Hey, Marlo. Oh, <laughs> um, Marlo, let's head to the garden. You up for giving me a hand with a veggie patch? How you keep me coming back here, I will never know. But sure, I'll help. First, we need to prepare the garden. It's a mess after last night. Let's start from the ground up. First, we can install a new irrigation hose. Let's do it. That's better. Now, we can prepare the topsoil. I'll tackle these ones. Nice work, Ava. I get the sense you do a lot of gardening. Me? No, no, no. I love plants, but I'm new to gardening. Beginner's luck. Nah, I suspect a green thumb. Ready to plant some veggies? Sounds fun. Let's hope Marlo doesn't dig it up. Come to think of it, where is Marlo anyway? He doesn't usually wander off. gone now. This isn't like him. Marlo, you've got to stop doing that. What's that you found? A stick? Hey, Marlo, come here, boy. Okay, very slow movements. Let's see what Marlo found. Okay, drop it, Marlo. It looks like a cane. Marlo, let go. Cooper, grab him. Is this what I think it is? like a walking cane? It's so ornate, but it's all dirty. Maybe it was buried. Oh no. What? That's Marvin's cane. I don't understand. Marvin needed his cane. He wouldn't leave it behind before his expedition. You think there's more to it? I don't really know what to think. I just need a minute. Cooper seems pretty down, Marlo. Maybe we can cheer him up with a nice surprise. Hey, Coop. You all right? Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Hey, have a look at what I found the other day. Whoa, my football team. I haven't seen this shot in ages. It was a cool find. Wow, what a blast from the past. If I had my football, I could show you a thing or two. 
Oh yeah? Show me your moves. Let me show you how it's done. Well, what did you think? Color me impressed. Now it's my time to shine. You play goalie. If I could offer a bit of expert advice. Seriously, Marlo, I'm fine. Thanks for the hand. And for laughing at me. Maybe you should have listened to my expert advice. Oh, yeah? What was it? Never let your guard down. <laughs> Good advice, coach. Well, I'd be proud to have you on my team. You're a good sport. Phew. Lots to talk to Serena about later. Oh, crap. 32 unread messages? She's gonna kill me. Better turn off mute. There are so many kinds of seedlings. Sam brought so much to choose from. Yeah, she's awesome. I wouldn't go to anyone else. She? Yes, she. Some farmers are women, you know. No, well, I didn't mean it like that. Ava, if I didn't know better, I'd say I detect a little jealousy. Well, good thing you do know better. So, let's pick out these veggies. What do you say? That veggie garden looks even better than before the fire. Agreed. You can call us butter, cause we're on a roll. Let's do the next vegetable bed. There's such a variety here. Should we mix or match? Let's see what we have and then decide. tidy veggie garden. The rows, oh, so straight and even. While you were nerding out on rows, you lost this in the dirt. What is it? Your hatchet. Mm, that's not mine. Are you sure? I don't really think of Olive as the axe-throwing type. Look how chip the blade is. I'd never treat my tools like that. This hatchet was chopping something harder than wood. Weird. Maybe someone was chopping your head. <laughs> if you have a tower of mysteries, I'm sure you could write a top-notch joke book for dads. In the meantime, let's tackle this last veggie garden. to make sure they all look good together. Which one do you like, Marlo?
like that one too, buddy. It looks great. It really does. You've got a talent for this, Ava. That's very sweet. I couldn't have done it without you. Agreed. Yes, well, I know one more thing that will make this veggie garden perfect. What is it? It's a surprise. You're just going to have to wait. Why don't you go ask Olive about Marvin's cane, and I'll get started here? I feel like all my time in Allenley has been spent doing little jobs for people. Oh, it's not that. I just don't want you to see it until it's done. Are you trying to surprise me now? We'll go ask Olive about the cane. But when I return, I expect to be thoroughly blown away. Come on, bud. Cooper is pretty bossy, isn't he? I know he means well. I should know better than to ask you, man's best friend. There's Olive. I shouldn't bother her, though. It looks like she... God, Jack could not have worse timing if he was trying. Oh, Mom. Please pay me no mind. You may answer that. I'm sorry to disturb you, Olive. I don't want to answer that. It's my ex, Jack. He's the mysterious fellow who's been calling? Yes. I wish you'd take the hint and leave me alone. Why don't you tell him directly, Mom? I've known you only briefly, but you aren't a shrinking violet. There's too much going on here. I can't deal with it. In my considerable years, Ava, I've learned that closure is best for all concerned. Maybe you're right, Olive. I'll make you a deal. I'll be direct with Jack, and you will hash things out with Cooper. I'm afraid you've caught me out, Mum. Well played. I shall consider it. Oh, that's right. We found this cane near the shed. And Cooper said it might be Marvin's. It is, but it can't be. What do you mean, Olive? I packed this cane personally. Marvin took it with him on his last trip. Just before he disappeared. Mom, there is a passage near the end of your novel that I have been pondering. Time, the ghosts of our past stop hurting us. Do you recall it? Of course, Olive. Do you believe that to be true? Olive, not only do I believe it, I depend on it. My parents let go of my heart long ago. We need to keep those we love close, Olive. Then there's no room for the ghosts. It seems that wisdom is not reserved for the aged, Mom. Thank you. I'll consider your words. Marlo, you got a pet from Olive. That's like seeing a pig fly over a blue moon on the 12th of Never. Come on, buddy. Let's go see what Cooper's big surprise is. This is your big surprise? You can train a seal to do that. You can also train a seal to make better jokes than that. Okay, smart guy. Then what's the big surprise? If you'll please direct your attention this way. 
Cooper, it's amazing. How did you make that frame so fast? Well, I do have some skills that a seal can't learn. What are you going to grow around the frame? Well, that's up to you. We still have some vegetables left from Sam's delivery. Choose your favorites and we'll make a picnic out of them when they're ripe. You think you'll still be around in a few months to enjoy the fruits of our labor? We'll just have to see. I never spoil a mystery before the last chapter. Excellent choice. These don't take long at all to ripen. Well, I should probably get going before it gets late. Really? What is it? Except me? Are you sure you should open it? It's not yours. Well, I'm not so sure. On the other hand, I do like breaking things. Okay, I'm in. But if it goes wrong, I don't know you. Let's try not to find out. I'll grab some tools and meet you inside. I hope Cooper can open this safe. It's driving me crazy thinking about what's inside. I think I've got everything. It'll take every tool I have, but I'm gonna blow this thing wide open. It seems like you wanted to take every tool you have. So this is uh, your bedroom. It's cute. I mean, stylish. Uh, thanks. The floors are beautiful, actually. Did you do them? Oh, it wasn't a big deal. So, what did you bring? I dipped into my private reserve and brought a little bit of... explosives. Are you sure that's safe? I'm very experienced with this sort of thing. It'll be fine. You see, it's all about angles and recoil, and scientific stuff like that. Just a little bit of this, and we'll stick it here. And this wire goes there, and I think we're ready. Are you sure, MacGyver? Give me a little credit. I'm a professional. A little credit sounds about right. Now, this will be extremely localized, but stand back if you feel you need to. Alright, I'm lighting the fuse. It should take three seconds to blow. Three, two, one. Blammo! Is it over? I don't understand. It 
It's over. But I did everything right. You were right about it being localized. I didn't feel a thing. I can try again. Hmm, maybe it's a sign we need a break. Should we have another go at that combination? Time for plan B. Well, it's probably plan D or G now. Maybe something about Marvin holds the clue. Well, you knew more about him than me. What are you thinking? Maybe his birth year. I think he was born in the 40s. 1942? Good guess, but I've tried that one. I have no idea. Who knows if we'll ever get it open? Come on, Ava, keep your head up. What other clues have you found? There was an old necklace, the old photo of Marvin with some lovely woman. Uh, wait, you're halfway there. Hmm. What, halfway where? Look, on the back there was writing. With a magnifying glass, I found the numbers 1942. Oh, so maybe that is just half of the combination. What else do we have? The train ticket stub. Ooh, let's have a look. Oh, it has a date on it, July 17. Maybe that... So, 1942 and... 0717. Okay, Ava. We're close. Oh, right. Maybe it's the other way. 0717-1942. Well, we tried. Ava, look at me. We are opening this stupid thing. I have an idea. What else could we even try, Cooper? You tried busting it open. There could be billions of possible combinations. What about using 1707 instead of 0717? And why would I do that? That's how I'd write that date, along with everyone else in Ellenley. Well, that's just plain wrong, but okay. Genius. Bloody genius. That's a new one, Ava. <laughs> I couldn't have cracked the code without you. This time. Let's have a look. A handwritten note. A voice recorder. And a beautiful crystal ball. Why don't you clear it out and start looking for more clues? I can help you patch up these walls while we're here. having a look at this note. I'm no forensic handwriting expert, but this scrawl is similar to the back of the photo. Stay on the ball. Find your bearings at 090. Don't pass the buck. It is your birthright. Ball? Bearings? Buck? Birthright? What the hell? Why is everything so cryptic around here? Yet another unsolved mystery to add to my pocket. Hey, what do you think? It 
It's gorgeous, Cooper. You've outdone yourself today. Come, sit with me. Let's listen to the recorded message. Please don't be another riddle. Day four. Today, I begin my ascent. From the majestic valleys of Bhutan to its perilous mountains. And with the help of my trusty cane, mind you. My knees are not what they once were. But I am as sharp as ever in my mind. I anticipate a successful mission. Wow, that was intense. Appears, if you are hearing this recording, I have likely perished. Please give my dear Olive and Cooper my warm farewell. <gasps> Sounds like Marvin did have his cane after all. Yeah, Olive seemed to think he took it too. But how? How could it be back here? And even more strange, how did this recording end up in the safe? I should journal this. It was painful, but also nice to hear Marvin's voice. Understandably, he seemed to really care for you. He even mentioned you. Thanks, Ava. I mean it when I say he was like a father. He gave me the first real family and home I ever had. Family can be complicated. I've always said that you choose your family. Yeah, I feel ya. Well, I'd better get going. It's late. Come back tomorrow, Cooper. Let's all have lunch. You, me, Olive. I'd like that. Good night, Cooper. Good night, Ava. What a day.